What's up everybody? Welcome to the DoeProject.com first episode. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing a sneaker. Uh, my name is Fred. You can catch me on Instagram at Fred Says So. I'm Jay. You can catch me on Instagram at Young Gans. And I'm Chef Dale. You can catch me at Poppy Eats on Instagram. I'm one of the food bloggers for the Dope Project. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Air Jordan Royal 1. Releases February 16, 2013. Just in time for Valentine's Day, so if you got a sweetheart out there that'll be willing to go get you these, you should definitely convince him or her. The first thing you're going to notice when you pick these up is the Nike Air all over the box, just as it was in the 2001 release. And let's just get into the shoe. Obviously the most notable thing about these retros is the Nike Air all over the shoe and replacing the Jumpman. You got it here on the tongue, the sole, and again on the insole. And uh, the premium leather is something that's really going to impress all the OG heads out there because the creasing on the toe box isn't going to be as nasty as it would be on retros nowadays. And uh, overall the shoe, I would say it's, it's pretty good. It, it's a lot better than retros I've seen in the past Jordan Brand has been coming out with. I'm impressed with this shoe actually. Um, I will be adding this shoe to my collection because you can wear this, you can dress this up or dress it down. You can go on a date, throw some khakis on, take your girl out, or you can throw some dark denim on. How you guys will rock this shoe? I think you can rock it like every day, you know. Me, I'm not the type of person to wear like suits, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna dress it down with like some chinos or some cardigans. I mean a cardigan or like some cargos. Well, the one thing I really like about the shoe is for the guys that dress up, wear blazers, you know, black blazer is kind of the staple of your wardrobe, whether corduroy, cotton, whatever it is. The good thing about this shoe is perfect. You know, your black blazer. You can match this up and down with anything underneath it. Black black blazer, black shirt, that's gonna be perfect. It's really classic for your wardrobe. I mean, it's, it's, it's the best right now as far as being able to rock it both ways. Yeah, I think um, this is a perfect Valentine's Day gift. If you're lucky to get your hands on a pair of these. I rock my sneakers right away. But I know a lot of people that get caught up with the fake sneakers. Like they go online, they cop a pair, it comes in the mail, and then they wear them around their friends and they realize that they're fake. How can you avoid uh, buying fake sneakers? And also, can you tell me more about how to get into the resale game? The number one telltale way for me to know if a sneaker is fake is to just know your colorways. Like, you're not going to see this, this sneaker in, like, uh, teal and purple. It has a paint in that colorway. Right, right. It's, and when you, know, when you know your colorways, it's really hard to get burned. Like, there's other ways. People, people will make this shoe in a very fake colorway. Right. Wow. Another way you need to know is, like, just checking out quality. Mm -hmm. And when you see the quality, another thing is feedback. When you go on websites like eBay to buy shoes, Soul Collector, all of those sites where it's user to user, okay. they provide feedback. And nobody's gonna provide feedback to somebody that sold them some fake shoes. Oh, for right. sure. They're right. trying to find <laughs> They're trying to find me. I need my dough back. Right. So yeah, okay, that's good information, man. Um, so everybody, you know, make sure when you go to cop these or any other sneaker, make sure you buy um, the real deal. With Valentine's Day right around the corner, we got a couple recommendations for restaurants for you and your sweetheart. Um, well, Valentine's Day being right around the corner, uh, being in Detroit, I probably would take it old school. You know, take your girl to uh, go to the Rattlesnake Club downtown. It's by the water. I mean, you can't beat that. Uh, the cooking there, the techniques are really well. And to me, it's the best place for you to get a steak downtown. When you go, Get the bone-in ribeye, you'll be impressed. Uh, 
The technique, the way they prepare it is great. The crust on the outside of the steak is real nice and buttery. Uh, the inside of the steak is good. Get the garlic mashed potatoes. That's a good start to the evening. Uh, after you're done eating, I would say head over to 24 Grill. Go there, get you a couple drinks. It's romantic, it's real intimate. The lighting is really sexy. Chandeliers look like diamonds. It's definitely some place you'll want to be. Uh, at the bar, get your girl, order her the cherry lemonade. She will be impressed for sure. And uh, after that, I probably would wrap the night up and go upstairs. Go to the <laughs> Western. I mean, you know, the hotel is right there. It's the best hotel in the city. Get you a great view. It's, it's a great, great way to end the evening. So try that. Hey, now I got try that. I got a question for you. Now, Jalen can't go to the hotel room. <laughs> Someone just suggested he can't go to the hotel room. <laughs> well, um, somebody like me, where, where, where would I go? Well, for somebody like you, I probably would say you want to go somewhere kind of fun, somewhere kind of loud, um, so you can still have a good time. Um, I probably would recommend Vincetta Grill because you go to Vincetta Grill, the menu is kind of broad. It's kind of like a step up from a bar and grill. Um, real romantic, you know, it's a lot of noise going on, a lot of hustling and bustling. That's a good place to go. You can stay there for a while, enjoy yourself, your girl will be impressed. Uh, you won't have to worry about trying to, uh, you, know, I, I, you know, you'll stay busy. You'll stay busy during the night because there's a lot going on there. So it takes the pressure off from trying to say romantic things during the course of the night. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely, um, I definitely second that. I like the set of grill. The, the, the ambiance is great. Um, yeah, we ain't trying to get Jalen in trouble. <laughs> no. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, TheDopeProject.com. Uh, catch me on Instagram at Fred Says So. You can catch me at Young Gans on Instagram. Yes, and it's Chef Dale. Follow me at Poppy Eats. Keep watching and keep following those food blogs on The Dope Project.